Well, Control Blazers to today's tutorial where I will show you how to configure email alert actions to generate emails via flow and send them to designated recipients which can include all these different types. We'll post a link to this documentation in the description below. For our scenario, let's imagine we want to automatically email the primary contact of an account to introduce them to our technical architect. So let's create an email alert to meet this requirement. From setup, search email alerts. Click continue. New email alert and add a description we specify an object in this case a contact we select an email template which contains the subject and body of the email now creating the email template should be the first thing to configure since we need it in advance but we already have one name point of contact template which we created during a previous video titled how to create email templates and it contains step-by-step -step instructions we'll link in the description as well so let's select in our lining templates point of contact template for receiving type let's select email field the email of the contact in this case and add it to the selected recipients we have an optional additional email hard-coded and finally the from email address which will leave as the current user's email address. Now we can save it and now we are ready to create the flow that will trigger the, the notification. So go to setup search flow Flow Trigger Explorer, when a contact is updated, we'll select the second option since uh, we'll be notifying after the record is saved, the contact. So the trigger will be when the record is created or, or updated. Entry conditions will say when primary contact is true and we'll say only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements so we'll leave this option since we're gonna be sending an email after we save the contact so we click done and let's add the send email alert we have the primary contact email we just created available here and we add a label to it the record ID is a contact ID we click done and now we can save the flow let's name it primary contact email now we can activate it and let's text 
test with our contact. So now, if I select it as the primary contact, the email should go should go out automatically. Let's save it, and this should have sent an email. Let me check my account, and I see the email here sent to Polly with the content of my email template. So this is an example of how you can use email alerts in conjunction with flows to automate emails. However, it is also possible to use them in processes, workflow rules, approval processes, or entitlement processes. They are also available through the Invocable Actions REST API endpoint. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.